Welcome to Drinks Made Easy. Three fun facts about the Black Panther. One, all of the known reserves of vibranium are in Wakanda, which he is the king of. Two, he's the actual designer of the Quinjet, not Tony Stark. And three, by far, he is the richest superhero by a landslide. And so we thought that in honor of the movie, we would make a classy cocktail for a classy hero that isn't like all of the garbage energy drink cocktails out there with his name on it. To build your Black Panther Manhattan, we're gonna start with two small dashes of Angostura. Next, we're gonna add two small dashes of orange bitters, two ounces of rye, to a stirring glass full of ice, half an ounce of Averna, and half an ounce of Black Sambuca. Now, this is where we're varying up the Black Panther Manhattan from a classic Black Manhattan. We're gonna start giving it a good stir. You can always shake a Manhattan. I don't recommend it, especially if you don't have large format ice. We've done that a little bit in the past. It's kind of more of a style that was around in the 70s when you're trying to get something really cold and pretty diluted. One of the nice things about stirring is that you can control your dilution. If you have a little stirring straw, about halfway through, give it a quick taste because you're controlling all your dilution here in the stirring glass and that's gonna affect the flavor. The more times that you stir and the more water you start infusing into your cocktail, the more it's gonna shift the flavor. So when you're tasting it, just like you would if you were cooking, you're figuring out when it's at that point that you really enjoy the flavor because once it's in the glass, there isn't gonna be any more dilution. Using a julep strainer, strain into your coupe and garnish with a Luxardo cherry. And there you have the Black Panther Manhattan. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised.